live again here at the Wildlife Club. We're back online, and so uh, I'm going to do a song now by Bob Dylan. This is called. This is from his album Blonde on Blonde. A song called Just Like Woman. <laughs> Antonio Carlos Chauvin, this song, Abuji Bebe, 
was written by the two of them in water to drink.
Are you doing Morse code? Okay, it's okay. <laughs>
waiting for my train to come. Do deep in peace, do deep in peace, do deep in peace, tell me things, I'll be the star down. Tuning your guitar after that <laughs> with these things on it can be a challenge. Fortunately, you don't have to be perfectly in tune. Eleanor, Eleanor is giving you virtual clap, 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 clap. Oh my, oh my, rain and heat. 
coming down on my head. Wind is coming, coming down on my head. Wind is coming, coming down, 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 down on my head. Nancy Nolan says you're amazing. Thank you. And Ellen Cheryl says hello from Huran, Peru. Oh, all right. Yes. Thank you. Yes. All right. And what is that? Is? And Eleanor McDonald put Stephen with big hearts on each side. Thank you. Sending hearts your way, my dear. This next song is an old Mexican folk song. Well, actually, it's a popular song from Mexico. I don't know if it's a, technically a folk song. There is an author, though I don't know who it is. Oh, we say that about all folk music. There's an author, we just don't know who it is.
Rockin' it, buddy. We're big Holland fans. Hey, the Moore brothers. I That's love right. those guys. That's I right. love you guys. <laughs> and uh, Peter Wilson. Tom and Greg. I just want to say about Tom and Greg. Yeah. I, I, I met those guys in Berkeley years and years ago. We won't say what year. We're not. We're not talking about age here. We are talking about. Uh, we're talking about heritage. We're were were they about, shaving? Were yeah, they shaving yet? They were. They were performing. Oh, good. Okay. And they are great performers. You need to have the Moore Brothers in this place. I that have. Would be so cool. I have, yeah. and we, we have uh, yeah. had to cancel a gig recently, so uh, sadly, but we will definitely have them back. Definitely have them back. Because yes. They are so good. They are so wonderful. And uh, I think I saw Greg first. I saw him at the Starry Plow in Berkeley, or in Oakland. And I said, Who is this kid writing these songs? This is amazing. And then I heard the brothers and went, oh my God. They're wonderful. They're like, yeah, they're, they're, they were passing the guitar back and forth and singing together. I was like, okay. Show offs. <laughs> no, they're very cool. Very cool. So thank you guys. And, um, from you. and Peter Wilson says, bravo. Who is that? Peter Wilson. Hi, Peter. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to do two pieces from Brazil. And Nancy Nolan, good to listen to your music, old friend. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. I'm going to do um, a song by a guy named Joao uh, Guimarães, but he was nicknamed Pernambuco because he was from the he was from Pernambuco province. He was from up there in uh, Recife. It's called Sons e Capilhões, and I'm going to follow that with a, an old Brazilian post.
You, okay. If you feel like signing off or filling those lost moments, I can do one more, all right, one. very nice. Yeah. We had that, we had that blackout there for a minute. We did. We we went to, um, yeah, channel ten, channel two or um, take two. Um, I do want to remind people from the invisible offstage presence over here. Hi, this is Beth, and we're so glad people are tuned in to see Stephen Holland live here on our lonely stage here at the Wild Eye Pub. We, we, we love having him here. We look forward to uh, all of you rejoining us for him in the future. If you would like to tip him, you can go to wildeyepub.com and there are virtual tip jars there ranging from a dollar to $20, credit card, PayPal, whatever, and you can just drop it in there and it'll all go to him. And, uh, and a number of you have, and thank you very much. So, last song. I'm going to do one more song and uh, just to uh, plug the show that was, the show that uh, almost was and then wasn't and almost was and isn't and will be someday. <laughs> <laughs> with, two, with two cancellations, I mean, I, I, it, it's, a, it's a record. We, we have done 18, we've done 18 uh, iterations of the Leonard Cohen uh, uh, show. I want to call it review. It's not really a tribute because nobody actually sounds like Leonard Cohen. And um, <laughs> a, 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 a real live person has just come in and tipped me. Oh my God! Yay! Okay. Okay. We're maintaining okay. distance here. We're maintaining we need distance. Need to match that tip. Well, I don't know if they'll match that tip, but they're doing pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. You're I'm going to do a song now uh, by. Them. in memory of the shows that didn't happen and uh, looking forward to the shows that will happen in the future. This is, uh, of course, a song that you all know, Suzanne by Leonard Cohen. Suzanne 
takes you down to a place near the bed. You can hear the boats go by and you can spend the night beside her. You know that she's half crazy. That's why you want to be there. And she feeds you tea and oranges back along we can child. just have to put it out there. Nancy asked if you'd be willing to sing Hallelujah. So I'm just <laughs> putting that out there. Oh, I don't. Uh, yeah. Well, of course. <laughs> that, was, that was hard. You get requests. What are you going to do? <laughs> not, not do them? All right. I'll, I'll I don't see you, but I know you're there. I feel like that character from um, Wings of Desire, Peter Falk's guy. <laughs> you know? He knows that the angels are there. He can't see them, but he knows they're there. And he's always looking around that that wonderful, uh, you know, sideways look, you know, one-eyed sideways look he had of saying, I can't see you, but I know you're there. <laughs> this is Annie McCann's song in our show, and she does a, a great, great rendition of this, and, uh, feel a little uh, hesitant to do uh, this song when I perform out in
That's right. Maybe even go Paul. And uh, Richard Thomas, and even my cousin Elsie down in the Bay Area. Florencia says, sounding good, Stephen. I love it. With hearts, even. Okay. I'm going to do another original song. That last song was the original song I wrote called Reaching for the Moon. This next song is called Every Day, Every Night. Every day it seems 
The, we need the clap track. We need a clap track. We need an audience track. But that's all right. We'll pretend you're here. That's right. They are here in spirit. Well, we know because of space look, there's all kinds of people floating around out there these days. These days being stuck at home means being stuck in, in many cases stuck in front of your computer. But remember to take a walk every now and then. Remember to stand on your head as often as you can. <laughs> Robin and Scott say hi. Hi. Hi, you guys. I miss you sitting up in the front row and having a glass of wine. I, I, I'm just I'm envisioning that these people that are, that are talking to us over Facebook are sitting in the comfort of their home or, or wherever they are. Maybe they're out in the woods somewhere. Uh, Getting great reception and having a bottle of wine and, and kicking back and listening and watching the day. And that's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm going to do a song now from uh, South America by uh, Atahualpa Yupanqui. Atahualpa was a poet, songwriter, guitarist, composer. Uh, very interesting character. Had a very uh, colorful life. But he wrote wonderful songs, and uh, this is one of them. This is called Los Hermanos. If you'll think of tantos hermanos que no puedo contar, I have so many brothers that I cannot count them. In the valleys, in the mountains, in the plains and by the sea, each with his work and each with his dreams, each with his hopes before him and his memories behind. I have so many brothers that I cannot count them. Con un 
And so that might apply to a lot of people nowadays. So uh, I'm going to dedicate it to everybody tuning in.
Thank you, Paul. Okay, we're going to make some adjustments here. Somebody's listening to the music. <laughs> Very nice song. 14 of them are right now. This is a little milonga that I wrote, and uh, it's uh, uh, an Argentine dance of milonga, and it's a, a milonga that I entitled Milonga Sin Nombre, or the Nameless Milonga. And I'm going to do that with and pair it with a, a song by Leonard Cohen. And, uh, we missed our show, the uh, Thousand Kisses Deep show, back at the end of March, and we're going to miss it as well in May. And um, we, uh, we're hoping that uh, we'll be able to come back in the fall and do the Leonard Cohen show 1,000 Kisses Deep. And uh, if we do, hope to see you there. I'm going to do that song, 1,000 Kisses Deep, but preceded with a milonga from, uh, from my experience, not in Argentina, but listening to lots of Argentine music. Thank you. 
he's from. The girls are known the odds of their feet. In a while, and then it's done. Y'all in windscreen. And some now to deal with your invincible defeat. You live your life. As it is real, a thousand inches deep. I'm turning tricks, I'm getting fits, I'm back on the boogie street. You lose your grip and then you slip into the masterpiece. And maybe I have miles to drive. Promises to keep. You ditch it all to stay alive. A thousand kisses Sometimes when the night is slow, the wretched and the meek gather up our hearts and go. A thousand kisses deep, from five to six, we press against the limits of the sea. I saw there were no oceans left. Or scavengers like me. I made it to the lower deck and blessed our enemy and then consented to be read. A thousand kisses deep. I'm turning tricks. I'm getting fixed, I'm back on Boogie Street. I guess they won't exchange the gift that you were meant to keep. And quiet is the thought of you, the file all you complete, except what we forgot. Sometimes when the night is slow, ooh, the wretched and the meek gather up our hearts and go. A thousand kisses deep. Oh, knees run, the girls are gone, the odds of their feet. Y'all in the street and some now to deal with your invincible defeat. You live your life as if it's real. A thousand kisses deep and some now to deal with your invincible defeat. Life is real. A thousand kisses deep. Yeehaw. Long enough.
and uh, follow that with another milonga, kind of milonga arrangement of a, uh, a song by Leonard Cohen. I have to cut in a word from your sponsor or whatever. A word from the sponsor, <laughs> a word from our sponsor. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and I just want to remind people, um, we've got a little chat going on, on the side here uh, that has been fun and lively. About 17 or so of you tuned in that I know of, but a whole bunch that I don't know that are also tuned in. Um, if you're liking what you hear, please consider throwing a few bucks in Stephen's tip jar. It all goes to him, and that is at. Yeah, I have a tip jar right over here. I know. Well, here, yeah, I'll show, I'll show them that one. Oh, look at that empty tip jar. It's so sad. But anyway, this guy. Um, if you want to go to wildeyepub.com, there's um, uh, some virtual tip jar options there from $1 to $20, although you could click on any of them several times if you chose to, but uh, credit card or PayPal, and it all goes to this fabulous musician. And now some of the comments. Peggy Roper says, beautiful rendering. Richard Schumann says, nice, Esteban. Jen Knapp, love it. And Ellen Reynard, uh, beautiful sounds coming out of that guitar. Thank you very much. Yes, and then Paul Cam said, he was the one who said, need more vocals. So I adjusted and I said, okay, and then he sent a heart. So I think oh, I think we're good on the sound. Phew, phew. And Peggy's it, sending it, it, me, we, we, Peggy's <laughs> sending a bunch of clapping hands. It sounds fine in here. We're, 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 so yeah. we, we, need, we need to hear uh, your feedback. That's it's right. appreciated without our getting any feedback. All right. That's well. it. And Miriam says, it is fabulous to be touched by beautiful music, especially when we all have to be six feet apart. Um, <laughs> uh, if you know Miriam, Barmantonchinsky. Bar yes. My, my beautiful ex-wife. Oh, there you go. Very good. All right. Thank you very, very much. Good. Nice. That. Okay. That's, that's a little more than six feet. A, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a song. Uh, I, I wrote this uh, some years ago, and uh, Miriam will remember this. I had a lesson with uh, the composer Dushan Bogdanovich. And Dushan was, uh, Dushan has a very acerbic personality. And uh, he finally kicked me out after three hours. Uh, I kept riddling him or, you know, trying to get more information out of him. and said, well, what, what do you do when you, okay, with, with this voice, what are you going to do? Now, he, he took one of my pieces, I brought one of my pieces over here, and he looked at it and goes, you know, is your harmonic vocabulary is very good. I like I like what uh, you have your ideas, but your your rhythm is very boring. Let's work on that. <laughs> and he was right. I'm uh, I've always been rhythmically uh, challenged, so you know the white boy that I am. And so uh, he tore my piece apart. But we I, I kept it after him, and he finally kicked me. I said, you have to get out of here. You've been in my house for three hours, and I know you're not going to pay me for that. He <laughs> finally threw me out, but. Um, I wrote this song for him. It's called The Writer because he wrote he wrote a treatise on, on music that I thoroughly did not understand. That was uh, uh, completely beyond my ken. Uh, the lesson was good, and uh, it and, and it got I got a song out of it. Okay. Very good. I even sent it to him. I never heard back from him. <laughs> Hi. Uh, that guy. He, he kept me around for three hours. No more. No more. And wouldn't pay.
Unresolved. Bill Douglas really liked that song when we used to play that together. He loved that song, and then I figured it out. He just liked that song because it ended on an augmented chord. He thought that was cool. I think I don't. That's great. Um, would you introduce yourself and talk a little bit about you? Somebody's saying, Peggy's saying, what is the name of this talented performer? This music is heartfelt and beautiful. Well, that that last song. You. Or me. You. You want my story? Who, you want my who story? are you? You don't want to hear that. Just okay, then just the name. Just no, the no. Name. I've been I have been criticized before for talking too much about you know things on the microphone. But uh, I am a, a singer songwriter. I grew up in uh, Auburn, California, thirty miles away. Uh, I disappeared for many years. Went traveling. Went to Brazil. Went to Mexico. Went to Europe and. Um, Took a couple of degrees in music, and uh, God knows why I did that. My father wanted me to become a lawyer or a minister. I always thought that was interesting. He said, you should, you should have been a, an attorney or a preacher. And I said, God, Dad, that's not, that's not like wishing me the best, you know? Um, anyway, and uh, I, uh, uh, I traveled a lot. I... Uh, uh, studied a lot, uh, and uh, I ended up teaching for many years. I taught for about 20 years, taught elementary school, taught uh, college, and now I'm back here, semi-retired, playing on the stage at the Wildlife Pub. And I play around the, this area in the Nevada City, Grass Valley, and uh, a few places far flung, but mostly I, I stick around close to home. I am a homeboy, and uh, I like it that way. And your name is Stephen Holland. Oh yes, the last thing. There you go, yeah, Peggy. The last thing for the information, <laughs> Steve Holland. Although I'm often called Esteban because um, I sing in Spanish and Portuguese, and uh, and sometimes I sing in French. I might get around to that tonight. Um, this is a, a piece by Manuel de Falla, but uh, like 
most pieces that I do by other people, I've taken some liberties with it. And uh, it was uh, also a, a piece that was covered by Miles Davis uh, in his Sketches of Spain album. And so that inspired my arrangement for this piece a little bit. It's uh, entitled Canción de Fuego Fatuo, or the, the Will of the Wisp.
Peggy said to tell you she is watching you from Kingwood, Texas, who, who asked who you were, um, said she saw the Cows Cowboys when she was visiting here in Auburn. And she said, um, thanks for sharing about yourself. Obviously yours was the perfect path you traveled and we all are richer for it. Thank you for your beautiful music and following your heart and being you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, and I would just say at my age, uh, if I don't do that, I'm drunk. And Nora says to tell you that Bill's super enjoying uh, your music right now. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Good to see you guys. Thank you for being here. All right, I'm going to do uh, another original song. This is um, this is called uh, "She Brings Her Love," and uh, it was inspired actually by. Uh, oh, it won't sound like it. I don't think it won't sound. <laughs> like an English lute song, but I was playing, at the time I wrote this, I was playing a lot of English lute songs, which would include the music of John Dowling, Thomas Campion, Francis Pilkington, I love that name, boy is that an English renaissance name, <laughs> Francis Pilkington, and others like that, and, uh, and some of the Spanish music from the same period, uh, but um, anyway, this is a uh, an Americanized version of an English lute song transported into the 20th century. Because it was written in the, I, yes, it was written at the end of the 20th century in the 1990s, so there you have it. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Kind of a wild little song there. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to do some old music now. Old oh, music. Really old music. <laughs> Beth knows that when I say old, that we're not talking 1960s. Although I might do something from the 60s. I will do something from the 60s. I promise. Yeah. But um, in fact, this, we think this first song that I'm going to do, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do an old Scottish ballad called Twa Carbys. And Twa Carbys is, uh, the English version is known as Three Crows. But for some reason, because maybe because Scotland was poor at the time, there's just two. So it goes from Three Crows in England up to Scotland and becomes Two Crows, or Twa Carbys. And out of that, I'm going to, uh, from that one song, I will go into an old French song which is a pastoral and is uh, at least 700 years old. We know that from the historical information that's uh, embedded in the lyric. As I was walking on the day, I had some come Sebastian, Bosheba, Ajas 